What's up, beautiful people? My name is Sable, and welcome to my channel, Curls of a CPA, where I take you all my perfectly and perfectly dirty, and today, we gonna get into that new, new from Trey Lux. Yes, Trey Lux is on a one into the lab and came out with this new curl-defining mousse that's vegan, cruelty-free, and fragrance-free. Yes, they are known for their yummy smells, but I know some of you are sensitive to smells. You have family members that are sensitive to smells, but child, this is fragrance free. And so a lot more people will be able to enjoy it. Now the mousse launched just in time for Black Friday. So you can give this a try along with all the other Trey Lux products, but you can save some coin in the process. Now there are gonna be two sets of sales going on. So let me give you guys the tea. First, we have the Black Friday sale where you can save 30% off on all products at discovertraylux.com. And this is gonna run from November 25th to the 27th. And then you have the Cyber Monday sale, which is from November 28th to November 30. And if you happen to be shopping after November 30, you're in luck because I have a coupon code for you. Just use curls of a CPA 15 to save 15% off all year long. <laughs> I'll put the link to their website, the sale details, and all the products that I use and I mentioned down in the description box below. And when you're ready to purchase, just use my link to save some coin. And then I'll also try to pin a comment with the links as well. I got you. And before we jump into the video, I wanna give a special shout out to Trey Lux for being a regular sponsor of this channel and also for trusting me not to spill the beans on the new product. Yes, your girl could keep a secret. But if you're interested in getting the tea on this new product and you wanna see the moment where I decided that I had to do a wash and go, cause y'all already know I was about to do a twist out. <laughs> then keep watching. <laughs> and I wanted to show you guys my hair before I washed it. It's been nine days since I washed my hair. I've been rocking this twist out for seven days and it still looks all right, but I wanna wash my hair before it dries out completely. And so I actually clarified my hair off camera and then I followed that up with the Trey Lux Curl Renew and Restore Gentle Cleansing Rinse off camera as well to save some time. This is on my list of favorite moisturizing shampoos gives you a nice gentle cleanse when you rinse your hair feels hydrated and not stripped at all and to condition my hair I'm going in with the Trey Lux untie the knot nourishing leave-in conditioner and this is also one of my faves y'all when I tell you I don't know what they did with this lightweight leave-in conditioner but it packs a nice moisturizing punch what I do is I apply it onto wet hair if my hair is not wet enough I add more water and I detangle twist up the section and then put on my cap, go about my business and then come back when I'm ready. I typically keep my cap on for about 10 minutes, but sometimes I have a lot to do, which happened on this day. And so here I am 20 minutes later. And my hair feels so good. It feels really soft and supple. My hair has basically absorbed all of the leave-in conditioner. It doesn't feel mushy or anything like that. So we're good to go. And I'm just gonna twist my hair in these sections. I'll probably do about two twists per section so that we can move along. <laughs> I mean, this is a good start, okay. <laughs> The product says to apply it onto wet hair. So I just sprayed my hair with some water bit. And now I'm ready to apply the new Trey Lux Soothe and Restore Curl Defining Mousse. Oh wow, it doesn't really have a smell. This is like the least smelling product that they own, like they have. For all my people who um, have some sensitivities to scent, you can use this. It literally, it's like a faint, like really clean smell. It doesn't smell like there's like, like like heavy fragrances or anything like that in it, but okay. So I took three pumps, I think. Ooh, ooh this feels good. <laughs> uh, okay, oh. That's nice, that's really nice. Ooh, it's like a creamy foam. Oh, if it wasn't late at night, I would do a wash and go. Wow. That feels really good. Ah. Ooh. That's really soft. Look at that. That's nice. It's like a creamy foam. Feels, feels good. And the way my curls are looking. I think I'm gonna do a wash and curl. 
Now, when I'm doing my twist outs, you guys know that I really like to make sure that my curls are like separated and clumped. That way, when I take the twist down, I'm able to separate my hair easily. But as I was separating and clumping, I noticed that I kind of started to shingle. <laughs> And it just kind of like morphed into looking like a wash and go. And then I decided. I can't believe I'm about to do this, but I'm gonna do a wash and go. I hope I don't regret this. <laughs> Those curls look really good. So I'm just gonna repeat the steps all over, okay? I unravel the twist, detangle the section, spray it with water, work the water in, and apply about three pumps of the mousse to the section. And then I just smooth the mousse through the section, make sure to get my roots, make sure that everything is laying down, that I don't feel anything frizzy. I just want the mousse to just basically capture and like surround all of the strands. And I'm combining all kinds of methods. I'm smoothing, I'm raking, and I'm shingling all at the same time. Now, I am not a pro at the wash and go, so feel free to put all your suggestions in the comments. But I have done a wash and go before, and I've had one done on my hair from professional as well. So I remember a little bit of the Things. What I do know is that certain sections of my hair require a different method. And so I'm just going with the flow. And if I find a piece that's frizzy, I just add extra mousse to it and keep it pushing. And can we talk about how effortless this is? I'm like flying through each section. If I was doing a twist out, oh my goodness, I would still be probably on the first section right now. <laughs> but I just love how the mousse feels in my hair. It is so creamy and it's like heavy, but lightweight at the same time. And this point in my mind, I was just wishing and hoping that this would come out good. <laughs> but as I finish the rest of my head, I wanna tell you a little bit more about the product because I know y'all be liking the tea, okay? As I mentioned in the beginning, the Curl Defining Mousse is 100% vegan. I also mentioned that it was fragrance-free, but I stand corrected. It does have fragrance, but the fragrance that it has is 100% natural. You can barely smell anything. It's 100% cruelty-free, and the ingredients are 97% naturally derived. It has no sulfates, no parabens, no silicones, no gluten no phthalates, and no known toxic ingredients. Which is the same for all Trey Lux products. The products are fairly clean. And the key ingredients in this foam are oat milk and vitamin E. And the oat milk has soothing and restorative properties to soften and strengthen the hair. And the vitamin E boosts collagen, defends against aging hair, supports a healthy scalp, and can promote hair growth with its antioxidant properties. They say that this is great for wash and goes, to refresh your hair, and to reset your curls. But y'all already know know that I'm eventually gonna try to do a twist out. <laughs> but so far for the wash and go, it's looking promising. And the foam is lightweight, it has a strong hold, shapes, smooths, and mends curls. It has curl lifting abilities and it can be used on dry or wet curls. Now for the directions, they say to cleanse and condition your hair and scalp and they don't have any instructions on applying it to dry hair. But if you're applying it on wet hair, they recommend that you apply two to three pumps of the mousse into your hands, evenly distributed from roots to ends and then allow your hair to air dry or diffuse. And I'm assuming you can do the same thing if you're applying it to dry hair as well. Okay, so I'm done applying the mousse everywhere. And wow, I think I like this. I just hope that it dries nice and that I don't regret this. <laughs> but so far it looks good. This side is doing well. This side for the most part is good. I did notice that the side had a bit of frizz, so I'm just going in and smoothing the pieces that I see out of place. And then I'm just gonna go sit under my hooded dryer and come back once my hair is dry. And here I am after about 45 minutes. The majority of my hair is dry. It's just that there are pieces in the front and on the side that are still wet. Not wet like soaking wet, but it's I can feel that there is still product on it. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pin my hair up in a way that exposes those parts. And then I'm gonna go sit back under the dryer and come back. And I am back and my hair is literally 99.9% .9 dry. There's only one little spot where I can still feel a little bit of foam, but at this point, I don't care. I'm going to bed. <laughs> now I did notice one spot that had a little bit of buildup, but I just wet my fingers, rubbed the spot, and it went away. So we're good to go. That's the only spot that I noticed that I had a little bit of buildup, but I'm definitely loving the curls. But it is time for bed, y'all. I'm just gonna put on my satin scarf and my bonnet and pray and hope that tomorrow I look like a person. <laughs> See you soon. Good morning. I just wanna take my scarf and my bonnet off so that my hair can kind of 
breathe and grow a little bit before I come back and give my final thoughts. And as you can see from my face, I am pleasantly surprised. I'm just kind of shaking my hair, fluffing it with my hands, trying not to disturb the curls, but I want the curls to kind of separate since they're a little mushed together from being under the bonnet. I was a little nervous that this bonnet and scarf situation was gonna fail me, but my hair still looks good, okay? Um, it's definitely getting twist out. Like, wow. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna live in the wash and go for a little bit, do some work, and come back and give my final thoughts. All right, and here I am giving you day two hair vibes. When I tell y'all I am shook, I am shook. The first reason why I'm shook is that I actually did a wash and go. Y'all know I love me a twist out, and I usually chicken out when I say I'm going to do a wash and go with a new product. Like rarely do I ever go through with it, but I actually went through with it. And this is the first mousse wash and go that I've done that I've actually liked. I've done them in the past where I've paired it with gel and I haven't really been able to find the best combo but the mousse and the leave-in gave me the results that I like. I love a nice and curly and fluffy wash and go. I love me a defined and fluffy and soft wash and go and this did not disappoint. Overall I enjoyed this wash and style moment. As for the shampoo, love this. This is one of my favorite moisturizing shampoos. Like moisturizing, it cleans your hair very nicely, your scalp and your hair feels refreshed, and it just kind of leaves behind some nice hydration. And then of course today, I'm like done with this. This is my second bottle. I love this leave-in conditioner. I love that it can be used as a deep conditioner, and so I'm able to skip a step, especially when I'm, you know, doing my hair on a work night. I don't have time to be in and out of the shower, and so I love that I can just use this, detangle my hair, let it sit for a while. When I take my twist down, my hair has absorbed it, and I have a little bit of definition to kind of start my styling process. Love her. And then this mousse. Where do I begin? <laughs> I had to take notes because I'm like, I don't wanna forget any point that I have. One, the application was super creamy and I didn't get any like dryness or tangles or that like weird stiffness that you can get with some mousses. Two, it defined my curls and clumped my curls and now that it's dry, it's like dried in place, right? Like so if you do your hair with this mousse and you're seeing that you have a frizzy section, when it dries, it's gonna be frizzy. And so just touch it up with some more mousse, you know, rake it through, smooth it or whatever, do what you need to do because this thing dries dried in place, okay? And the dope thing is my hair is still soft. Like when I touch it, I still feel like a tiny bit of a cast, but overall it's nice and soft and fluffy and it just looks really good. <laughs> Next, it took me less than 30 minutes to style my hair. Usually it takes me about an hour to twist my hair because I be taking my time and I be talking and stuff, but it took me like 25 minutes to style my hair while I was filming. Just let that sink in. It'd probably take less time if I wasn't filming and you know, exploring the product. Next, my hair took an hour to dry. I thought I heard a gel wash and go say something. I thought I heard a gel wash and go say something. Y'all, typically when I do my wash and goes with gel, it takes like three and a half business days to dry. <laughs> I'm exaggerating, but it usually takes like a whole day to dry, right? But this took an hour. Now, there were some parts of my roots, like over here, um, this side of my hair is like the lower porosity, and that took longer to dry, but it was just my roots because I really like caked it on, thinking I want my roots to be smooth, and so I wanted to have the product, but because I didn't have my diffuser, I had to stay under the dryer a little longer. And yes, I know that I'm late to the mousse styling game, okay? But better late than never. I am here for this short drying time, especially because it's winter and I'm a procrastinator and I'm usually doing my hair in the wee hours of the night. So overall, the drying time is all right with me. Next, even though I was heavy handed, y'all, I have no flakes. No flakes, not one flake. <laughs> I love that for me, okay? Because for me, when I'm styling my hair, I like to make sure that my hair feels smooth. And sometimes that takes adding extra product. And I'm always so nervous when I'm styling with the gel because I'm like, am I gonna get flakes? if I add this one more dollop of product. <laughs> and so with the mousse, I felt confident as I was adding more product. And 
Thank God it didn't let me down. <laughs> No flakes, no buildup, we're good to go. Next, I slept on my hair and I literally woke up like this. I, y'all, I was so worried about going to sleep. <laughs> what I really wanted to do was wash my hair yesterday early in the day so I could sit under the dryer and then air dry for the rest of the day and then do my final thoughts at the end of the day. Um, but because I filmed my hair so late at night, I couldn't film my final thoughts because my husband was sleeping. And so I was so nervous going to bed. I mean, I was so nervous. But when I woke up and took off my bonnet and my scarf, I just, it was like a, a feeling of relief. I feel, y'all, y'all saw, y'all saw, I, I was shook. I was nervous, um, but I'm so happy that I was able to maintain definition. And I don't typically wear my hair like that at night. I only did it because like this part, some of my roots were still drying, but I like that when I woke up, I still look like a person. So I'm gonna experiment with, you know, wearing my scarf and bonnet that way and see if I like it. Uh, but typically I will put my hair on top of my head, kind of like in a makeshift pineapple situation, just because I sweat in my sleep, I sleep bad, so. Yeah. And last but not least, it is so difficult to get the perfect balance of moisture, weight, volume, body, definition, on like day one or two hair, right? You typically, I mean, by the end of the week, it's giving big hair, don't care. So, you know, twist out, the wash and go has swelled to perfection. But to get this on day two, and my hair isn't like super frizzy, or I'm still able to have like curl definition, like my ends are so curly on both sides. If I know I need to go to an event and I don't have a lot of time to do my hair, I would definitely pick this up to give me that big voluminous hair right away. <laughs> I mean, what else do I ask for? Like what else do we, what else do I need? It's giving minimum effort, maximum results. <laughs> also, I cannot wait to try this mousse for a twist out. The way that it defined and clumped my curls and smoothed my hair, that is the perfect recipe for a bomb twist out and I cannot wait to try it that way. Now that we got all the good things out of the way, the one thing that I am worried about is how this will last. Granted, it took me no time to do. So if my hair is in shambles, I can literally redo it and be perfectly fine. Um, but I feel like my hair is elongated enough that if my hair doesn't look good in a couple of days, I could throw it up in a puff, I could put it in a bun, I could do a little half up, half down situation, or I could even retwist this because I don't have a ton of product on my hair. I can literally just wet it and reactivate the product, add some more foam and do another style, you know? And so although I'm worried about it lasting, I'm also not worried about how I'm gonna be able to handle it because I think that I'll be able to manage. I don't have time to insert my usual here's me on day 10 situation. So stay tuned, I'll update you guys on how my hair held up. But my first impression is Trey Lux did their thing with this mousse. So yeah, make sure you guys pick this up as you guys are shopping during this Black Friday, Cyber Monday season so you can get your 30% off. And of course, if you're shopping outside of those dates, you can use my code curls of the CPA 15 to save 15% all year long. And of course, I'll put links to all the products that I use and mention down in the description box below. And I'll put the sale details as well, just in case you forgot anything. But that's all I got for you guys today. Let me know down below if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or suggestions. And special shout out to Trey Lux for sending me this mousse to try and for sponsoring today's video. We love to see it. <laughs> and I think that's it. I'll make sure to put my last Trey Lux video up here so you can see me using the products with another style. And then I'm just gonna put my Trey Lux playlist right here so you can just binge watch. Maybe that will inspire you as you are shopping in this season. And until next time, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'm sending you peace, love, and good hair day vibes. Bye guys. See you in the next one. Mm -mm.